for external people as well who can't necessarily mm. see your calendar this is invaluable yeah. you know when you when you want somebody to look in your calendar and find time when you're available rather than having that that to in and fro in of oh yeah i'm not available that day i'll tell me when you are available okay these 17 half hour slots that's when i'm available you know it, it's just it just makes it so much easier and so much quicker uh, but there is a a learning curve there is a uh, definitely a, a challenge with getting people to adopt it you've got to put it in very big letters potentially flashing just to make sure people know to click on it well something new i found after now work i'm working in my own business rather than for a corporate job was that there's like a whole universe of like booking link etiquette if you're trying to book with some external like if you if they perceive themselves as, as a, above you they don't want to click your link to find out when you're available to book themselves if they want you to click their link but they don't have a link so then you go into the back and forth like it was, it was so much easier for you if you just click my link and then yeah. <laughs> but i didn't know this is all new to me and it's the whole world of uh, booking link etiquette i had no idea was going on I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director at MeTime, where we help people save time at work using Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you need help saving time at work, I've got a free course linked in the description below that you can get some tips and tricks on how to use Microsoft Teams, Microsoft To Do, Microsoft Planner, and make yourself more productive at work. If you're struggling to get your whole organization to change, we've got another free course that might be useful to help generate some ideas that you might be able to steal to make your whole organization work in a more modern way. And, it, and it's, yeah, I mean, this this complements, for me, this always complements find time or meeting polls, you know, where you yeah. kind of send out, you know, right, here's my 17 half hour slots that I'm free, please pick one. And even that, I find myself just chasing people to respond to it. <laughs> you know, yeah, that yeah. seven people have responded and that eighth person just hasn't quite responded. Yeah. So you're just kind of poking them gently to go, just click on the link. Come on, just just do it. Just click. Just click on the link. So you've got loads of tentatives all over your calendar whilst you're waiting for people. Yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then half of them go because it's, you know, four days later and all of them have gone. But yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get onto this in, in, in part two around productivity and how you effectively arrange a meeting. <laughs> Before you go, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. It really does help us in the algorithm. We've got super thanks turned on now. So if you really liked it, then consider supporting the channel with a donation. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.